problem with the Hearst Public Library. Since we weren't able to get together for the Brown Bag Book Club this month, we're going to take a moment to talk about the May selection, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you've read the book, please feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment field. If you haven't read the book, you can go online to our website or use your mobile app and place a hold on it and pick it up through our curbside pickup service. The book is also available through Overdrive and Libby. So let's get into the book, shall we? It was a very difficult read for me as someone whose last science class was more than 10 years ago. It kicks off with a fraction of a second description of the birth of the universe. This was really, really slow to me and would have been better with some pictures. Actually, I almost never say this, but it might have been better as a movie. Tyson goes chapter by chapter through key concepts in the field of astrophysics. A lot of them were slow, despite being short, mostly because there was just too much information for a casual reader to parse. It starts to pick up about midway through when he gets into dark matter and energy. I found it fascinating to learn about how you can quantify an unknown like that. Unfortunately, it starts to lag again about the time he does 15 pages on the origins of the periodic table of elements. I did find the discussions on practical applications of astrophysics interesting and elucidating, but it hardly made up for feeling so lost through the rest of the book. My only other nitpick is silly, but my sci-fi loving heart was mortally wounded by this book. First, Tyson baldly stated that light speed travel was impossible. Then, at the end, he goes into great detail about how it would be very difficult, nearly impossible, for a distant alien civilization to spot us. So, by the end, my big takeaway was, I guess the Vulcans aren't coming to make contact. Because they can't find us. And even if they can, they don't possess the light speed capabilities to get here. Still, I found comfort from the idea that there's still so little that we know about the universe, and that makes it nearly impossible to make these kinds of assertions. So I'm still waiting for Mr. Spock. 